compressible flow, normal shock wave. What is normal shock wave? A large disturbance propagating through a gas is called shock wave. They can be oriented normal to the flow, normal to the flow or oblique angles. For example, the shock wave in front of a sphere is shown below. So this is a sphere and this sphere were, uh, were, was traveled at Mach number 1.53 and it used a special method to capture this one. And then what we could say is the molecule here, the molecule of air here is actually in stagnant, it's static, it's not moving. And this sphere is moving very, very fast. In general, we could think that the molecule of air here will get shock because it's the molecule of air here will be pushed by this uh, object at high speed, which is Mach number 1.53. And then it will the, the air here will be compressed. And then the compressed here will give us a thin separation line like this to separate the molecule of air that influenced by the speed of this sphere and to uh, the, to separate the, the air of the molecule uh, molecule of air here that influenced by the speed of this sphere with to, uh, to the molecule of air here that actually not influenced by this sphere's speed. So you could imagine that this molecule here is moving and at here the molecule is actually it is static and then when this travel so it will the air will be compressed and at high speed it will create a disturbance here uh, it will create a line that you could see here and we call this as a shock wave the property changes that occur across a shock wave take place over an extremely short distance. For usual, for usual condition, the distance is only several mean free paths of the molecules on order of 10 by the power of minus 4 millimeters. Consider a normal shock wave moving with velocity v1 as shown in the figure. For example, we have a, uh, a constant diameter of tube here and then we give a very high velocity of gas from left to right here and then we could find that because the velocity of this gas is moving in high velocity and exceeding Mach number 1 we could find a shock wave occur here and then after the shock wave the velocity will reduce and you will have we have we will have a new velocity 2 pressure at point 2 and density at point 2 so this condition is a, a stationary shock wave in a tube because we are doing experimental works in a tube and in laboratory we move the gas but at this condition we move a up uh, an object here with certain velocity and a shock wave will create like this. So from this situation, we could say that the, continu the continuity equation will become rho 1, a1 and v1 equal to rho 2, a2, v2. So it is also could be determined as mass flow rate. And uh, we determine this equation as equation number one. And because the area is constant, as you could see here, the diameter of tube here is a constant. So we could simplify as VA1, cross-section area at 1, is equal to cross-section area at 2. So it means that our mass flow rate could be simplified as rho 1 v1 and equal to rho 2 v2 
and we state this equation as equation number 3. The energy equation is equal to 0, so we could write as v2 square minus v1 square over 2 plus k over k minus 1 times p2 over rho 2 minus p1 over rho 1 equals 0, and this is equation number 4. The momentum equation becomes P1 minus P2 equal rho 1 V1 times V2 minus V1. And by, the, by using rho 1 V1 is equal to rho 2 V2, the equation number 5 here will become P1 in bracket 1 plus rho 1 V1 square over P1 equal P2 in bracket 1 plus rho 2 V2 square over P2. And then we, in a previous lesson, we know that Mach number square can be written can be written as velocity square rho over p pressure and k, and we substitute into equation number six, and we could get this one: p two over p one equal one plus k m one square over one plus k m two square, and we state this equation as equation number seven. From the ideal gas law, we know that P is equal to rho RT, and then we substitute in equation number 4, we get this term. After this, we substitute the value of Mach number square equal V square over KRT, and equation number 8 here can be written as this one. I think you already know about this equation in isentropic flow equation. So it is T. 2 over T1 is equal 1 plus 1 over 2 K minus 1 M1 square over 1 plus 1 over 2 K minus 1 M2 square. And we state this equation as equation number 9. If we substitute the value of rho equal P over RT into equation number 3, we could get that P1 V1 over RT1 is equal P2 V2 over RT2. Then we substitute the value of velocity as Mach number times third KRT. And equation number 10 here will become this term. Then we substitute for the pressure and temperature ratios from equation 7 and 9. The continuity equation takes the form as this one and we term we determine this equation as equation number 12 then we could simplify the value of m2 square as m2 square is equal to m1 square plus 2 over k minus 1 over 2k over k minus 1 m1 square minus 1 this allow us to express the pressure and temperature ratios in terms of M1 only. Then the momentum equation, which is equation number 7, can be written as this one. P2 over P1 equal 2K over K plus 1 M1 square minus K minus 1 over K plus 1. And we determine this equation as equation number 13. Finally, we could say that uh, the energy equation number 9 can be written as this one. T2 over T1 equal 1 plus 1 over 2 K minus 1 M1 square times 2 K over K minus 1 M1 square minus 1 over K plus 1 square over 2 K minus 1 M1 square. And we determine this equation as equation number 14. To simplify the calculation, we could say that normally our experimental here will be conducted using an air. So we know that the value of air, the value of uh, K for air is 1.4. We substitute all the uh, equation with K equal 1.4 and we could have this equation M2 square equal equal to m1 square plus 5 over 7 m1 square minus 1 
and this is equation number 15 and for pressure we could calculate P2 over P1 equals 7 mark number 1 square minus 1 over 6 and this is equation number 16 and for temperature ratio we have T2 over T1 M1 square plus 5 times 7 M1 square minus 1 over 36 M1 square and this is equation number 17 please bear in mind that this equation is only for air which has K equal 1.4 if you're dealing with another gas another gas uh, for example hydrogen helium and so on you need to use the previous equation this one because we need to substitute the, the right K for that gas this equation again I would like to mention here is only for air which is K is equal to 1.4 1, 1 